Welcome back to Airbrush Review SA. I've got my best mate, Jean, with me today making videos. He's behind the camera. You'll see him later on when he's doing the five shot groupings. It's going to be his first ever time shooting a PCP. Don't get me wrong, he has been shooting center fire rifles and Springer guns back in the day when we were little guys. So, welcome, John. And we are at Abro's Review. We've got the Asalcon MX9 with us here today in 0.22. Pretty nice air gun. It comes in a nice hard carry case. It's got two magazines, it's got a gun oil little bottle and you get two little uh, allen keys with it in the box it is shrouded but it's not silenced in the shroud so if you want to make it quiet the way to go donny fl i got the running in the front here it makes it super quiet it's traveling at 865 feet per second with 18 grain jsb and it's pretty sick the nice thing about it it's got a spoon top um, cocking lever on the side here it's got a match stage trigger where you can move the trigger blade to your suiting for your finger. Um, it's got a nice walnut stock here. It's very, very nice. It's smooth. All of these guns have been quality checked. It's got its little uh, green sticker there. It's been quality checked. Uh, it's got a 500cc bottle, so you get about 60, 65 shots per fill. Um, it's got a manometer here. This is the bottle pressure. If you have a look at that, it's regulated for a very good price. Uh, the regulator is set around about 120 bars, so sending that pellet down at, like I said, 865 feet per second. Um, I have installed one of our newer scopes. I will put the link down in the description. And we've done the MX-5 as well, which I'll put up in the link. Doesn't matter, somewhere here, I'll put it up. This is my strong hand. <laughs> yeah, so I've got two left hands, so Jean's here helping me out getting everything dialed in. Like I said, this gun's finishing off touches look pretty good. Um, we charge it up to 250 bar. Like I said, you get 60 to 65 shots per fill. This thing is quite nice and long. Its shoulder's quite lacquer. It's got a rubber butt pad at the back here, so it makes it easy to point and pull the trigger and shoot. The cocking lever's not at the back. It's right here, situated in front of your hand here to shoot okay the mag is empty now that's why it won't go forward but yeah and it's a 12 shot magazine like i said get two in the box but anyway let's stop talking let's go and do a five shot grouping at 50 meters jean will be shooting and then after that we'll see what pigeons will come out today see you now okay so this is the sulcan mx9 five shot grouping left-handed See it's coming in there. Just compensate it in a bit there. So we're just going to shoot our downrange scarecrow now. As you can see we've got two sticks and a paint can. So we'll start with the paint can. Just a skim. And we'll take it. Ooh. Let's try the other side. It's a hit, but it's not broken. It's a hit, but it's not broken. One more. Oh. 
So today I've got Jean Nivaut here with me. Um, he has been shooting firearms for quite a long time, but not with air guns. This is his first time shooting PCPs. He's always been shooting with uh, springers when we were quite young little chokers, what they would call us. So um, it's quite a experience for him to come and shoot these uh, air guns. And as you could see on that video where he done the five shot grouping, wasn't too bad. Looks pretty good for 50 meters for his first time ever. We didn't even have practice shots, so he did pretty well. Well done to that. And he was shooting his little scarecrow. If you can see, that was his little idea. And you can hear the wind now as we're walking this side that uh, it's blowing quite bad. But anyway, look at his shirt there. Yeah, a little bit there, but it is quite, it's quite windy. Let's have a look at our grouping. He has a five shot grouping. That is Jean's grouping. And then he has his little scarecrow that he shot. Look at that. He's got him chipped out there. And then he shot this bottle or this spray can. That looked pretty cool. So it's right through. At 865 feet per second with a JSB 18 grains, it didn't do too bad. Anyway, let's go check if we can get some pigeons. They're hiding out here somewhere. We've got one that's busy eating there on the floor. Still now. So he can attract other pigeons. So let's go check how he does. That is so cool. Look at the eagle trying to eat the, the pigeons. That is pretty sick. Okay, sitting on the wall, so I'm going to take... Oh shit. That was at like 20 meters, he was sitting on the roof. Made sure if that uh, pellet passes through him, it won't damage anything on top of the roof. But yeah, they're coming in now. I'm going to do it offhand. It's going to be tough. That was another pigeon that I shot at a roughly about 30 meters. Um, as you can see with me with holding my hand, it was a bit difficult. I timed it so as soon as the crosshairs went over it, I pulled the trigger. And this Asalkin allows you to do that. MX-9 all the way. Was a cop squad, Diana. They call me Snapper.
That does a nice kill shot on about 20 meters. To knock the whole bloody colony out, German. Yeah, if you forget we're doing videos, you must tell them about the Salken. The Salken MX9 is quick on the reload without any jams. As you can see, I can put my aim straight on them. With the Eagle Vision scope cam, you can see how quick it is to reload and kill. As you can see here. Click on the reload. And we're out.